stage. Okay, um, yeah, so by day I um, forecast trends. That's a whole other presentation. Um, and I ride my bike pretty much along the 55 route down to Piccadilly Circus pretty much every day. So I look at photos of during Fashion Week and people are dressed up and, and I thought, well, actually, on bicycles, I've noticed on my daily commute that there's a whole lot of variation and other interesting things going on. So it started off as an Instagram project where I would do like peep style um, photos of people cycling. But um, so, uh, and then it sort of developed into a Tumblr, but it really is a side project of like seeing the huge variation of what people, how people are dressed when they're cycling to work every day at different times of the day as well. So during the next slides, you might recognize yourself, like different tribes of cyclists, basically. And these are the, some of the things that you might see in the following slide. Um, dum -da -dum -da -dum. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. So, um, so lots of people get really dressed up, not lots of people, not very many people actually, but I love it when people just get dressed normally in their normal fancy yes. gear and then get their bicycle and figure out how to get to work. So it's a very European style of, you know, cycling where, um, you know, we've seen it in Copenhagen and Amsterdam and then moving on to sort of this tweet. So this is an analysis of my 400 photos over the last three years where I've kind of trended them. Um, so we see a lot of um, tweed, and there's been a lot of development in tweed as well, with like high-tech tweed, you know, the tweed, <laughs> what's the tweed company that they, they weave um, reflective house of tweed? And then there's the, the lycra people who, you know, if you, if you have a long commute to work, like some of my colleagues who ride from like South London, um, it's because, you, do, you do need to be a bit more streamlined, and Lycra helps actually. And you do turn up at work with a, you know, without having to spray a load of deodorant all over the place. This is just a random photo about red. Red is something I've noticed is a much more prevalent colour with for both guys and girls these days, and it really like is pretty high vis in itself. So lots of red on the streets at the moment. Um, and uh, denim is an interesting material because actually it's roots in workwear make it a very breathable, very you know, practical material for uh, cycling. And you've got brands like everyone from Levi's, Rafa, Volpine are all doing their denim ranges. So that really nods to the fact that we're seeing a lot of denim on the streets and in, in fashion in general. Um, the animal skin, the leopard, is something I love seeing, especially when the bag and the skirt coordinates together. Um, and I sometimes almost kill myself trying to chase after these people to get to wear them. And, um, but it does go to show that like, there's a lot of trends that come from fashion into cycling apparel. Um, this is one of my favourite because the guy in the suit on the left couldn't be mistaken for accidentally picking up his child's bag because he actually has yellow socks on as well. And this is the joyfulness of, of you know, cycling around the city. So my partner took this, she cycles down to the 26th route and I do the 55. Um, we're also seeing a lot of print and pattern coming from outdoor sports, you know, skiing, snowboarding, interesting things, especially for outerwear and rain gear. Um, being influential, and when I see a new kind of print direction, I find it very interesting. Um, as for the next one, which is the, the kind of stripe. So we see that like some people just are in their normal gear, and these kind of really bold stripes that really translate well into the lycra version as well. So my point here, I guess, is that any like apparel designers out there, really like there are so many cues you can cross in between fashion, between, you know, it's like just normal high street fashion trends into, oh, this is the health goth. So you need to like, you need to look up the hashtag health goth, which is a whole thing. And, and, and this just movement, worldwide movement towards health, even if, you know, infiltrating into people who only wear black. Um, and this, this colorway is like, I've seen this every single day along the 55 route. Um, and this is your classic hipster. And this is the look which probably deters most people from cycling because who else can look as good as that? And then you've got the bike as well which coordinates. And like some of these people I'm just like, oh my god, you just look so cool. And, um, especially that Scandi guy with a retro Nike bag. Unbelievable. And then one of my favourite things about cycling is sometimes when you've got your eyes out, eyes open, you see people 
that you know, but this is old news to get back over the beard. And this is what my favourite thing about being more observational when you're cycling around. And the whole blogs and tumblers dedicated to bikes and beards. Just look up. And this is the theatre of Kankin, and probably half of you have it. You should, you should buy it with an ordering bag, which is like this one here. But um, my point on this slide is that there are lots of, this is a retro mountaineering bag, and this has taken the cycling world by storm. Everyone <laughs> has the Kankin. And it is a unisex style as well. So unisex styling in street fashion on bikes is a thing. Um, and then going on to looking at people who actually use bicycles to work, you know, to earn their trust. Um, this guy who I saw at Victoria Park was nuts. I was like, oh my God. He had about a dozen bikes on his bike. And then you've got everyone from E5 Bakery who I see every day when I'm walking back from um, through London Fields. And then obviously, um, um, the lovely Florence from Peloton bikes, um, delivering flowers on, on bicycles as well. And then you've got this guy in the middle, if, if anyone can't see, he's got a chair strapped to his backpack with a lampshade on top of the bike. And I've seen people with flower pots, oh yeah, and then people who aren't necessarily as safety conscious to people who are quite safety conscious. And there are lots of new brands out there that um, take this to the next level, like Lumo and Blaze, all these brands that actually take safety from the to the next level. So my point is that everything goes, and there are so many different looks, and there are so many different kind of genres and tribes, and you all are them, and you know people who are them, and they're all absolutely fine. So thank you. I, for a long time, predominantly cycled in black suede, which I think is about as, as far from my business as you could possibly get. Uh, and next up we have Chris. Chris is 